Bases are large fortified structures that can provide a long term home for you or your team. But there are some caveats to base building you should probably be aware of. And here I'll be going through a longer pros and cons list than anyone who's ever experienced teen pregnancy. If you liked the video please leave a like or a subscribe it really helps me out. But without further ado let's get into the video. Wow. Well, this is going to be quick. First off, we have the pros. Very simple. They provide more security for your supplies and you can keep adding walls and traps and can find really defensible locations. So when you die, you can return to a structure filled with your gear and you never have to start from zero. It's as close to a progression system as DayZ will ever have. Next, you can store almost endless items and a lot larger items as well. For example, vehicles, tall snipers and the tiers of those people you raided the second they logged off. Next, and when done right, bases can provide you with a safer space than Greenpeace. There are so few times you can just sit back and relax in day Z. The right base, however, can give you a freckle of that. And although nothing is ever 100% secure, getting geared can be stressful. The constant fear of death, the target on your back, the sound of your sphincter slamming shut every time a gunshot goes off. There is a strategic benefit to having that mental rest. Next, they can allow you to set up a more permanent base with basic amenities such as water sources and food in the form of grown crops. Meaning if you pick the right place you can basically become self-sufficient, never actually needing to leave the base. Next and with regards to teams, it can create a sense of camaraderie amongst your team members. Because it can give you team building incentives and exercises as well as something to do and work towards in the later game. There's nothing better than when you and your buddy are just happy hammering together or nailing to get screwing yeah there's no way out of this hole next they can give you a reason to be on a server long term this is so hard to explain but if you stay on the server long enough and you build a base eventually you get neighbors which become trade partners or enemies and you build a sense of community one that you feel as though you belong in especially on the right servers but there are definitely some drawbacks to base building the first one being they require a lot of time time and resources to build and there are very few ways you can actually speed this up. This can make it difficult to construct them because you have to find the supplies, you have to stay alive and you have to fend off any attackers who are trying to steal your nails. Then we have the fact that building a base is only one part of the battle. You also have to find storage containers and other things such as crates or barrels for you to be able to utilize the point of a base. Additionally, if you create a larger base, you may be targeted specifically by other players or groups who see your base as a valuable target. No matter how high your walls, no matter how many you build, people will always find a way to shit on you from such a colossal height, there'll be a hole in the floor with your shape in it. Next we have the fact that it can draw attention to your teams present in that particular area which may make it more difficult to operate stealthily, especially larger bases, because the second you raid the base everybody knows where it's gone. Next is the fact that server wipes, although I've mentioned before, are rare can take away months of effort. Now this is just technically part of the game however so many people dislike it and I can see why. Then we have one of the biggest drawbacks of building a base and that is the fact that they can limit your mobility and flexibility as you or your team may be more hesitant to leave the base unprotected for extended periods of time. It's a weird mentality thing but when you're away you're always wondering if you should go check on your base and when you go too far this little voice at the back of your brain goes Psst, you're about to be raided and it really puts you off. But as long as none of these drawbacks affect you then bases are absolutely worth it. But for more videos on base building click here or for something else click here and as always until next time.